operation to acquire Vijiji Kenya. Akiba Mashinani Trust Fund. No more eviction. No more eviction. No more eviction. No more eviction. We don't want to be evicted anymore. No more eviction. This land belongs to us. Mungano and Vijiji Kenya. Ghetto is our home. We are born there. We are supposed to die in Ghetto. Anybody thinking that we are going to move? No. We are very sorry. We are Today, not going to move 8th December 2012. We are going for demonstration. 50 years since we got independent. But the slum dwellers has got nothing to smile about. And that's why we are advocating for the right of our being in the slums and the right of owning the lands which we are staying on. My name is Evan Somondi Jack Papa. I am born in Mukuru. I'm 60 years old. I'm a social village elder in Mukuru. We have been facing very many eviction notices. There are people who came when we were on this land and they grabbed this land for their personal need. They were grabbed in 1983 by those people who are well connected to the state, either politicians, either administrators, either business person. I'm paying 1,000 Kenya shillings per month for rent. My shack had been demolished several times, even more than 10 times, since 1980s, 82, 83, 84. And then the other one started 1990, 1992, 1996, 1997, 1998, 2002, and then the other started 2010. They demolish everything, they carry everything, they leave you there to stay. The grader, either bulldozer, they are very fast. Just demolish and spoil everything, even house belongings. It has become like a music, we are used. We are fighting for our rights, we are fighting for our lives, we are fighting for the life of our children and our grandchildren. Security of land tenure. Ya Kenya. We went to the Mungano Ewana Vijiji and Akiba Masinani Trust, an NGO championing for the right of the poor people staying in the slum. We went to them and we had any other option. Then we took the matter to court of law. Hi. 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 Papa, I'm very well. Yeah, yeah. Doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And how are you guys in Mukuru? Mukuru. Nairobi is is it's really two cities in one. It's there's a formal city and an affluent city that is beautiful to live in. 
And then there is the other city that is very poor and is very marginalized. So basically we have almost 65% of the population of Nairobi being squatters. And that means that you do not have a right to be where you, where you are. The land on which you live belongs to somebody else. And at any time they can come and throw you out. If you have a house, they can demolish it. And you cannot really develop yourself because you cannot develop that, the portion of land in which you live. In the early part of this year, we had so many communities coming to us with eviction notices. So we started trying to find out who the landowners were. And we discovered that these titles had been irregularly granted by the state. And therefore, we decided to go to court to protect the slum dwellers against evictions because they all had eviction notices. And then secondly, also, to test the provisions of the new constitution. Because under our new constitution, we have the right to housing and adequate sanitation. We are coming out of the darkness into light. We were in a very, very dark place as Kenya for 24 years uh, under President Moy. President Moy was president since 1978 until 2001. He ran a very corrupt regime, which uh, gave land to everybody who was in power, anyone who had access to him, anyone who had the money. So it was a case of the rich taking care of the rich. So he took the land, gave it to many of these respondents, and there are already people living there on public lands. So first, the land has been corruptly issued, granted to these people. Now we have a new constitution. And the constitution gives us right to land, right to sanitation, right to good housing. That's in the Bill of Rights. And the constitution gives the courts the powers to enforce this Bill of Rights or at least to protect the rights granted in the Bill of Rights. This case, it's historic, it's groundbreaking, because should we succeed, and there's no reason why we shouldn't, because the facts are obvious, we will have a foothold upon which to stand and claim the public land which was given to a select few, a favored few, a rich few, at the expense of the masses in this country. Tunaenda kotini kwa mastaka ya kuzuia kesi ya kuhamisha watu katika vijiji ya Mukuru. Kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa kwa Ruben Na kwa njenga na vijiji yote ya Nairobi Tuko katika milimani court Na tumestaki matajiri kumi na ine Wale mabwenyenye wale wakubwa wakubwa Wale wanasumbua Wanaishi katika ekambili mtu moja Na sisi tunaishi katika ten by ten Kwa hivyo sisi tunaenda kotini Tunataka hizi vijiji zote Zikai mara vijiji yote ya Nairobi ila, ilalishwa ikubaliwe ili waweze kupewa le, barua inaitwa security of land tenure hii ni barua ya kuhakikishia hata wewe ukijenga ukijenga na mawe hakuna mtu na kuingilia kila moja ajitokeze na sisi tuweze kwenda pamoja <tipi> Sababu shida tumewacha nyumbani. Na zasa wezi kukaa nyumba ya lufutano, 
na mapato yako mshahara yako ni 1800 ama 1000 hiyo maisha ni lazima sasa uishi katika maisha kidogo ndio hata watu jamii yako pia wakiwa nyumbani waweza kupata usaidizi na wakati hii lazima sasa tusaidiane na nyinyi we must help each other nyaka mpaka tusaidiane sababu tukisaidiana hii bita si ya mtu mmoja there is nothing comes from the goodness unless you struggle unless you fight and that's why we, although we know this fight is going to be difficult because we are fighting with those people who are holding the economy of this country we shall keep on fighting until the last minute until the last turn Before 2010, before the new constitution comes, we didn't trust the court before. But now, we have a trust with our court after reform. And we are not going to leave this matter. And if the court, the, the high court, is going to rule it against us, we shall appeal to the Supreme Court. I don't have any problem at all with the application. But if the Supreme Court doesn't listen to us, either rule the case against us, we shall continue to the East African Court. And if East African Court also rules against us, we are going to race to African Union. And if the African Union is not going to listen to us, we shall then, it, the condition will force us to take this court to the UN because we belong to the people of the world. 18th, 19th of January. We can do that. Let's take the 18th. Okay. Thank you. Now what's happening today is that uh, none of the respondents have responded. But we have so many other people seeking to be enjoined to the case. So what is happening is that uh, we are coming back on January then we'll know each other. Everyone who's interested in the matter will have come in. Everyone who has paperwork to file will have filed. We'll have filed our responses, so it's a question of waiting till 18th, January next year. We are not feeling well because we want this case to, uh, to be fi finished so that we can return back at home, our slums where we are staying, when our hearts are free because we are representing almost 300,000 people in this case whereby they cannot all come here. They rely on the information they are going to get from us. 70% of Kenyans are staying in slum and why? That's a very big question mark. So we know we shall succeed. We want to be defeated in this case. Thank you.